everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So I'm having so much fun getting my groove back, working in this little tag book that I made. So yesterday I worked on this page and then when I was done crafting, I went and rested and then I created this page and I really like it. I like it a lot. Oops, I found a little piece. There we go. Ooh, I heard it pop, that's so satisfying. So this is a washi sticker. And you know, these washi stickers always have like a border around them and the border is so ugly. So I spent like 20 minutes fussy cutting out this flower and now it looks like it's part of the paper. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna work on another one. Let's open this up. And what I did this morning is I went to my members only page and I asked all my glue crew members to give me three to five prompts and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use these tags to fulfill their prompts. So the first one that I got was from There and Back Again, A Hermit's Tale. Love you girl, thank you for participating. She's been a glue crew member for a long time. So hers were use a button, a magazine image, use a tiny household object, and add a fabric scrap. So I am going to collect all those things and I will be right back. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I found some fabric scraps. I've had this fabric for I don't even know. It was literally a scrap. So I just whipped up a little yo-yo really quick. And then I got a red button that I would put there. And then I had all this extra string. So I thought I would wad it up in a little ball and glue it underneath because I th thought that was cute. Okay, so I've got use a button and then a magazine image. I know it's small, but I just love this little hand holding a strawberry. And I saw this red button and I was like, I just, I want to use that. So I have a little hand and then I found while I was looking through my vintage scrap bin here, this random piece of fabric. I have no clue where this came from. Um, so just in case I want to add that to my next object, which is use a tiny household object. And this girl, I just spent forever looking around my house for something tiny. And then I realized I have tiny, tiny paper clips from Tim Holtz. So I thought maybe I could rip off a piece of this and kind of tie it up here um, to add another piece of fabric scrap. And then I just have a bunch of, what else do we have? Okay, so I have everything. And then I just grabbed some reds and some tans and some, bo some botanical papers that I have out of my, um, this is my bin here. This has all pre-cut or pre-ripped papers that I use in my vintage -y style collaging. So when I get new things, I just put it there and uh, yeah, anyways. Okay, so here we go. I'm so excited. Girl, you stumped me so much on that household object. I mean, I even had to look at Google for some options. And then I was like, everything was like a button, or this and that. And I'm like, I'm already using that. Okay, challenge accepted. Okay, let's do this. All right, which way does this go? This way. So, I think I'll just kind of, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Still getting in the groove, I guess. All right, let's just put this, where do I want this? <laughs> Struggling. Okay, you know what? Let's just glue it down. You know, I have, if I have to look at it too long, I start getting all weird. Okay, so let's glue this bad boy down. Oh man, both my best friend and my sister's household has COVID. I am so bummed for them. All of them have vaccinations and all of them have been super, super vigilant about wearing masks and all that kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure, well, actually my best friend, she got hers from a client at work and she was wearing an N95 mask or whatever those things are called. And she's fully vaxxed, so that was crazy. And then my sister, my nephew, they had an outbreak in preschool and so he brought that home to them. So, yikes. Man, this 
whole month, this is like a whole year just sucks. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm laughing because it's just so crazy that so much is happening. And I didn't share with you guys, but my dad wasn't the only passing that we had this month. My dad passed, my mom's uncle passed, a good friend of our families and of my parents passed a couple days after my dad. And who else? There was, oh, my um, husband's aunt just passed two nights ago. So that's four people in a month um, that we have lost. And it's just crazy. And then you've got COVID and then uh, just all this stuff. And birthdays up the wazoo. I don't know why everybody in my family has birthdays in May, but crazy. What's this? Oh, found a little piece of music page. So we've got all this stuff going. Oh, it's just insanity. Insanity. Oh, kind of like that down here. It fits like perfect. Okay, I'll wait to put that. Let's put some of this. This piece right here was from my friend Jackie um, over at Rockwell Design Crafts on Etsy. You can find a link for her in my description box. This is from one of her kits. I use Jackie's papers quite a bit. I think they're fun and affordable. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there, turn it over. Okay, let's get that. Couple this off. When I have, when I've glued a bigger piece like this that I then later cut off, what I do is I just, that's probably what that piece was, is I set it upside down on my desk to dry. And then when I come back in a couple hours, I just toss it into my paper, vintage paper bin right here. Cause you know, scraps, we don't waste anything. Not even our little scrap. Uh oh, I just cut my, mm, I just cut my cardboard or my cardstock. I didn't mean to. That's what I get for cutting and looking out my window at the same time because this car just pulled up across the street and I want to know what they're doing. Oh boy, that doesn't look like it's going to be a good idea. Oh, let's see what this guy does. I'm telling you, man, this area is just getting out of control. Okay, well, so far he's just standing there smoking a cigarette outside of his car, which is so weird. Like, why are you right here? Okay, I know it sounds weird that I'm all like, what is this guy doing, blah, blah, blah. But we've just had a string of all kinds of craziness happening um, in our neighborhood lately. And so we're all kind of just keeping an eye out of everything. So I'm just, because that's how much it bothers me, having a crooked bottom. <laughs> Not my bottom. Well, my bottom probably is crooked, who knows. Um, but I kind of cut into that a little bit, and so I just wanted to trim that up. Okay, so now I've got that and that. Let's see, what else? Oh, I liked how that looked down here, but I need something up here, so let's see, what about this? That kind of works, doesn't it? I wonder if I can very carefully rip some of this off. Okay. Carefully, boop, there, okay. Sure, that'll work. Do I wanna ink this a little bit? I think I'll just ink this a hair. Inking, inking, there we go, okay. Ooh, sorry about that, that was loud and annoying. Okay. Do not come to my house. Oh my gosh, there's this guy. He's young too. He looks like he's like 17. Oh, good boy. So he's walking and he has like a um, iPad in his hand or something. I can tell he's some kind of work, something or other. Like, do you need your carpets cleaned? That kind of thing. But we have a no solicitation on our door and he respected it. He looked at it, saw it, and didn't come up the driveway. Kudos to you, dude. Thank you for not coming to my door. Is it really that big of a deal? No, but then my dogs start barking and it's a whole thing and I don't wanna deal with it. Plus, I don't I don't like answering the door when my husband's not here, when it's strange men. 
just saying. Okay, I don't really wanna take away all that, but maybe if I go like that, I might even in frame like that, and then, let's see, where do I wanna put this? I didn't really think about that now, did I? There we go. Just do that. Okay. You know what? It's good enough. There we go. All right. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay. So I still have to do my button and my scrap of fabric. That does cover up a lot of that. I'm, I'm gluing this down. <laughs> I'm gluing it down, damn it. It's happening. That way I have to make a decision. Okay, how did I have this again? Like this? Okay, so we've got that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and then I kind of want to add some of this. Maybe this end. I just think that's really cute. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna cut some of this off. Of course, I didn't cut that straight at all. Okay, let's glue it down. So we have that. Okay, we have that. And then I need to add this cutie up here, I think. Where does one add something like that? You know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna punch in my holes. I don't accidentally glue that button where my holes are supposed to be. Okay. So we have that. And I still have my little tiny object. I need to add. I don't know where to add this, to be totally honest. Right here? Okay. Fabri Tac, where you at? Where you at, girl? Okay. So I think what I'll do is I kind of want this messy, you know, the string. So I'm going to add some Fabri Tac on here. I could, actually I'll add it to my button. That's what I'll do. Okay, and then I'm just gonna boop right on there and just kind of hold it down for a second. And then let's add some on the back. I'm just gonna plop this bad boy right here. I can feel it sticking to my finger. That's Awesome. I probably should have just glued that, but or uh, sewn that button on there, but oh well. Okay, so we have that. Okay, is it gonna stay on there? Oh, whoa, this is moving around. Okay. Got my tiny household object. Okay, let's see if I can't rip a little piece of this off. Let's see, oh, 
I have everything. I have magazine images glued to this. Okay. Ugh. Oh, it tears the other way. Great. Okay, so we have that. Let's see, where's my little... I can't, I can't, <laughs> it's, it's not ripping, but I do kind of like how crazy and fringy I'm making it. So what if I just put that there? So basically I just covered all that red stuff that I had, but I was thinking, what if I put that there and then put like, a little person over. I know I had just a couple Timmy people in my, where'd they go? I had a couple Timmy people. Oh, I also have these ladies. Wow, this is an eclectic thing. I don't think I did your, your prompt justice. <laughs> oh, here, here's another red thing I could add. Oh, here, like I was thinking like a little girl like that. Okay. I do want, I think it's just a little too big. Okay. Ooh, look at all this gringe. What I thought I could do was put this through my little tiny thing here and then bring it up and then just have kind of a ratty little piece like that. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, I think I'll do that because I don't know why, but I want to. So let's do that. Ooh, you know what though? What if I go like this? Wait, this one's smaller? If I go like this, and then like this, and then like this. Too much, too much, too much, too much. I got a big old glob of glue on here too. Ah, I glued my tool to my paper. <laughs> okay. Get that glue off of there. Okay. All right, I'm making a mess, making a mess. I'm gonna put this little, this little girl here. Okay, let me put my lid back on my glue stick so I don't do what I did the other day. To add this cute little girl. her right there a little number four okay got that and that and that and that where's my okay and this fabric is really white and bright so I'm just gonna kind of which is cool I like that but I just want to grunge it up just a little tiny bit just take it back a notch so it's not so bright but yet still bright does that make sense okay all right, so we have all of that. This is finally stuck. We have this and that. Getting glue everywhere. Okay, so we have all that. Let me put her back where she belongs. Okay, let's go around the edges. And I still need to add my little tiny attachment. So I'll do that in just a second here after I ink all this. OK, 
Okay. So I have my tiny, oh, where'd my little tiny paper clip go? Oh no, it's so tiny I lost it. Where'd it go? I didn't throw it away, did I? Paper, paper. Oh, there it is. Okay. want to do this and then I can just add it right there yes I do and you know what I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac normally I would probably just put a little stitch in there but I don't want to get everything out because I'm lazy like that so let's just add a pinch of Fabri-Tac in here whoo stuff is stinky oops how do I want this? There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna pinch it with my fingers for Uno Memento. Okay, now we have to put my little thing right there. All right. I'm just going to put those back in my paper scrap thing. These are dry now, so let's put those back. Okay, and I have this. I really don't like that number four there now, but oh well. Okay, I wanted to put something right there. Uh, what do I want to put there? I guess I don't have to put anything, but I was, I wanted to put like something. Top secret. That's kind of dumb because it's already right there. Where'd I get this? Right here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave it because I like the way it looks. Okay, but first I wanna take her prompt and I'm going to put it on the back. Where's my cutter? Right here. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this off. Two, right there. Okay. And I'm going to use my stamp that is right here. Today is now the 18th. So we'll put that there. And then let's glue this onto the back of my tag. So now I know who gave me these prompts. Oh my gosh, I didn't put it on there perfect. How dare I not put it on there perfect. Okay, so there we go. So now I know who it is. There is my little doohickey. Okay, I struggled. And that's the point of this is to, not to struggle. <laughs> the point is to try new things, have fun, you know, all, all that jazz. All right, let's put it back in here. Thank you so much, girl, for giving me these prompts. And I have, so far, I have another handful of prompts over here to my left that I will also be completing from my glue crew. So if you're a glue crew member, go to the membership tab and find where I put, it's the latest post, and you can give me your three to five prompts. But there we go. Use a button, a magazine image, a tiny house, hold object, and add a fabric scrap. So I got two fabric scraps, my button, household object is a paper clip, magazine image, and two magazine images, and I completed the prompt. What do you guys think? It's not perfect, but it was fun. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a great time hanging out with me. I had a great time hanging out with you. I hope you all have a fabulous day. And until next time, bye.